Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review and this is another Banu pen. But I think before we open the box, let's have a look a little bit more about Banu. Banu is a creative brand of writing instruments and desk accessories designed and handcrafted in Moscow, Russia. A daring concept, bold texture, combinations and a vivid colour palette are the key characteristics of the Bennu collection. Bennu's team of designers and artisans take great care to create highly unusual writing instruments to surprise and delight. The writing instrument industry has a vast range of producers offering a great variety of classic and prestigious pens. What Bennu constantly strive for and what Bennu wanted from the very beginning was to create something different. Something that was playful, stylish and of course, fun. Bennu is a young and trendy Russian brand of writing instruments and accessories. Its story began in January 2016 when co-founders Alex and Kate decided to join forces to set up a new creative concept. Right from the start, the aim was clear to make writing instruments and desk accessories for those who prefer bold, bright colours and new designs. Both Alex and Kate have experience in fine watch, jewellery and home decor markets, launching multiple successful projects over the last 15 years, being great admirers of the art of creating fountain pens, they decided to create Bennu, a new brand of writing pens and accessories. The first collection of Bennu pens was launched in October 2016 with their efforts the help of several contractors and the immense support of family and friends. The Banu is an ancient Egyptian deity associated with the sun, creation and rebirth. The Banu bird is also one of the oldest known names of the phoenix, a majestic and divine creature that dies and is reborn throughout time. As Banu is also a bird, the fact that the quills are one of the most well-known prototypes of fountain pens and most commonly used symbols of writing instruments makes a bird a perfect symbolic representation of a company that produces pens and desk accessories. So this is the Banu and this is the Yolanda and this is a fine nib that I have here and this pen was loaned to me by Derek at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. I'd like to thank Derek for the loan of this pen for review. So I think let's open the lid here for this box. And it's a cardboard box, but it's quite a nice looking box. Now inside you get the pen in a cardboard sleeve. You also get a large international cartridge. You get a product care guide. And this tells you how to care for your Banu pen. And it's concertinaed together. And then you have this sort of paper straw bedding. So all of this package is recyclable. So I think let's take a look at the pen now. If I remove the pen from this cardboard sleeve, you can see here this is the Banu Briolet Yolanda and this is a really stunning pen. I have to say this has ticked most of my boxes. I do kind of like a dark purple and this is a purpley pen and I do like some gold glitter and I think the sort of diamond sort of facets that are going on there in the pen really accentuate that material not only the base material of the pen which really is a dark purple but also with some sort of like chips going on of, of other material within that resin and then of course you have these gold leaves or gold glitter that is then sort of pasted on top of the the material there and then lacquered on top of that so that all of this is absolutely smooth and you can see there the way that the light shines off this pen you cannot feel any of this gold glitter whatsoever so for me this really is a nice pen and you can see here 
it has the name Bennu here on the cap band. And it is a bit of a cigar shape or blimp shape pen. So it tapers right down to the cap point here. And there is no cap finial. And then tapers out to the cap band. And then starts to taper back to what is normally the blind cap of the pen. And again, no finial there. Now, if I unscrew the cap, you will see it has a number five size Schmidt nib. And this is a fine nib. And you can see in the size of my hand here, now, these all have number five size nibs on. And you'll find here that the sections tend to be a little bit narrow. So I personally don't like narrow sections of pens. So I wouldn't hold my pen here. I would hold it more up here around the threads where the section becomes a little bit more girthier. But I know a lot of people like slim section pens. So for that, I, I think it's, a, it's probably a good pen for, for those people that like it. In terms of the length of the pen, you can see it actually fits in the, the crook of my hand there quite nicely. Now, you cannot post these caps. They're not designed to do so. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot post that cap. And I think mostly it's because of this sort of diamond shape that is going on there in in that body. It's It's very difficult to be able to have a cap post. Now, in terms of the filling mechanism, it is a international cartridge converter. You can put cartridges in here as well if you want these just unplug. But for me, this is quite a nice pen. So as I said, the section is quite small there. You have a number five size Schmidt nib, and that's a fine nib. And then you have an ABS plastic feed. So the section is quite narrow there or quite thin. You have these large kind of threads, but you, they're not sharp. You don't fill them. There is a little bit of a step down there, but to me, that doesn't bother me. Even if I hold it up here close, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. And then, of course, you have this gorgeous body here, which is absolutely stunning. So I think Bennu are coming out with some really nice pens. Uh, I, th I think for the price point of these pens, it is really good. So this is the Yolanda, and this is uh, £72.50 on Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. And to me, this really ticks most of the boxes. So I think if you like look at that cap there, that cap is really quite stunning. You see all of that gold sort of glitter or leaves there. It's really nice. Whether or not you would call this a maquillé or whether or not you would uh, just, just call it a sort of hand-painted pen, I'm not entirely sure. But I like it. So I think with that, I think let's go and do a size check, a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So, the length of the pen is about 138 millimeters in length, and the length of the cap is 60 millimeters in length. And then the length of the body from the tip of the tines on the nib is about 127 millimeters in length. So it is a little bit more of a smaller pen, but for me, I can still write with it. It's it's not a pen that, that is that short. And then if I compare it to, I guess, another short pen that I have, which is a Visconti Davina Metropolitan, you'll see there it's actually very similar in size. So the full weight of the pen, uninked, is just over 19 grams. The weight of the cap is just over four and a half grams. And then the weight of the body is just over 14 and a half grams. So that's quite a lightweight pen. 
So from left to right, we have an Atelier Luso Carina in the Diamond Nebula. We have an Atelier Luso Carina in the Black Ice, an Atelier Luso Andromeda in the King Cobra, an Atelier Luso Andromeda in the Dragon. We have a Banu Briolet Yolanda. We have an Atelier Luso Andromeda in the Vulcan's Forge, an Atelier Luso Andromeda in the Tectonic Seas. We have a John Twist Volcano. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero in the Hawaii. And then we have the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the sand. So let's go and do a writing sample. We have the Bennu. And this is the Briolette Yolanda. Now this is a fine nib and it is a steel nib and I would say that this does write more like a fine to me. It's got that little bit of say crispness that you would have to a lot of fine nibs. Um, it's smooth to write with but it just has that slight crispness. Not a, not, it's not scratchy and it's not feedback but it's what you would expect from a lot of fine nibs. Now the ink in here today is Montegrappa and it's violet. Now in terms of line variation it is a fine nib so it is going to put down quite a fine line. Now although it's still nib I can push it a little bit more and I'll do some figure of eights here and then you can just see that this writes flawlessly. Now in terms of wetness so you can see here that the nib writes quite dry on the cross strokes but also quite wet on the down strokes so that to me suggests that there's a little bit of give in the nib and you can see that here in this line variation so when I have been pressing a little bit more harder there you can see that you're getting a little bit more ink coming out of the nib uh, if this was my pen I would probably just open the tines a little bit just to make it a little bit more wetter so that it's not so dry on the cross strokes but for me this is a pen that, that really looks nice, looks apart, and is actually pretty cheap at sort of £72. That's, that's a pretty good price, I would say, for, for the design and the aesthetics of the pen, uh, and also for the writing experience as well. So I'd like to thank Derek at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies for loaning me this pen for review. If you want to see this Benu pen or any other Benu pens, do go and check out Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies website and you'll be able to see all of the current range of Bennu pens that Derek has available there. So again I'd like to thank Derek for loaning me this pen for review. So that's my review of the Bennu Briolette Yolanda. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.